Tribe, I hope you are all very, very well indeed. And it's very difficult time for uh, for um, everyone. You know, like there's nothing to panic about. But I do hope that you're well, and I hope that your loved ones, especially if they're older, are all uh, are all being well looked after and keeping themselves safe. I hope you're all cleaning your hands and coughing into the cuff of your uh, cuff of your elbows. Um, we're entering a particularly uncertain time as a as a country and and indeed as, as an organisation um, and and what we're going to do to help our country at this difficult time. Um, no one really knows what this week is going to bring, but we do know that there's going to be more and more government announcements potentially daily as social distancing becomes more and more important to control the spread of this uh, this epidemic. We don't really know how that's going to evolve, um, but you know if we use the rest of the world as a benchmark, we do know that. This is going to get worse and our social distancing is going to get greater and greater. Um, and then I, I, I look to our, our own organisation, to this tribe of ours, and the times through its history when it's, when it's stood forward and it's done something of meaning. Um, of course, it was, Irma was when it really sort of appeared, you know, 100 odd people flew down there. Um, then there was Indonesia as we started sharpening the, the foil and, and really figuring out what this was going to be when it grew up. And, and then for me, and I think for, for many of you, it was Mozambique was when we became what we are. That's when we arrived. That's when it stopped being a concept. And it's, it was we showed the world, this is what it is we do. This is what our people can do. This is what the military approach is. We, we stood into the breach. We put ourselves out there. And we helped hundreds of thousands of people in impossible situations. Um, that was a seminal moment in our in our organisation, and it was full of people that stood forward in a time of need to serve. And then, of course, the Bahamas came later that year and did exactly the same thing again. And people stood forward because people needed support, people needed help. And of course, now as our own country enters into this incredibly difficult time, there is there is going to be a call for us again. Um, without going into too much detail at the moment because I'm still fleshing this out, but it looks like we're going to do a task of significant scale for the government in response to COVID across their national response. Now, if this comes off, we're going to have to start building it very, very quickly indeed, and we are going to need our grey shirts to step forward because this is, this is going to be big because our country is going to need this support and we have to deliver it. Um, there are people that are are scared. You know, people in our country are scared of what this is going to do and how this is going to affect their lives. And we may be uniquely placed to have a ginormous impact on their welfare and the good of our country and to help get through this epidemic quicker. We're not going to do an EOI today, probably, because we're still shaping this with government as to what it might be. The moment I have a, a bit of a green light, I will brief you all on exactly what this is going to look like. But I, I'm just letting you know that we are at the moment right in the conversation about doing something big because I know you can add so much value to this response. I know the caliber of people we have in our gray shirt base and we're going to need you to come forward. This is going to be a difficult time for everybody in this country. Um, this could be going on for 12, 14, 16, 18 weeks. And um, we've all got jobs, our working patterns may be disrupted. Um, but this is going to be one of those times where those that can must, because that's what we believe. Those that can help must. And we might be in the position where we really do have to do something of meaning for our country. And when that time comes, I really want to know that our grey shirts are going to be there. Like they've always been there before, but this time it's going to be on our soil. And when I get, the, when I get a bit more of a green light, I will brief you all in and let you know. But this is a warning order and it's an ask from me to be prepared to step into the breach because we have something really large that that country needs us to do and and if we get the call we're going to go and do it and um, and then we're going to smash it because you lot are incredible and there is nothing you have done in my two and a half years here that hasn't been so impressive and made me feel 10 feet tall with pride so i know that when we do this in our country for our people it's going to be remarkable and this will be another huge seminal moment in in TRUK's history. So watch this space. We will keep the information coming as it starts to generate. There might be an initial EOI just to see what, we, what we've got in what areas, and then uh, we will just keep trickling information as we get it. Tribe, you are absolutely amazing. 
Um, let's get ready to do something incredible. Cheers. <laughs>